Thank you, and hello, music lovers. This is Spike Jones bidding you welcome to another musical roundtable discussion. At this session, we are going to discuss the City Slickers' newest recording, Dance of the Hours. Dance of the Hours was written by Amilcar Ponchielli. Ponchielli wrote such famous works as Il Figolo Prodigo, I Mori di Venezia, La Dugamelli, and 14 other things which are even harder to pronounce. The City Slickers' arrangement of Dance of the Hours is in two movements, Allegro Vivace and Allegro Con Moto. The only difference is that with the Allegro Con Moto, you get a side order of meatballs. Our recording opens with a duet for flute and harp. But to continue, the harp and flute passages are followed by a series of gunshots. These were not in the original music. I put them in to make sure that my musicians stayed awake. Following the gunshots, there is a cowbell cadenza. <laughs> The instrument you hear in the background is known as an infernal machine. This is played by our first infernal machinist, Dr. Richard Morgan. Dr. Morgan, would you explain what the infernal machine is? Gladly. It's a Hawaiian steel guitar. Just an ordinary Hawaiian steel guitar. Yeah, the same kind they give away free with a copy of your record of Hawaiian War Chef. Dr. Morgan, how do you get those distinctive sounds from the instrument? Well, I'll show you. With my right foot, I plunk the strings like this. <laughs> then with my other foot, I control the pitch. Wait a second, Dr. Morgan. Did I understand you to say that you play this instrument with your feet? That's right. Well, what do you do with your hands? I hold them over my ears. That's logical. Thank you, and put on your shoes, Dr. Richard Morgan. Now we come to one of the most interesting musical parts of the City Slicker version of Dance of the Hours. <laughs> the figure which you heard at the end of that jazz portion is known technically as the doit. Actually, the doit in plain everyday language is nothing more than a played backwards. After the doit, the orchestration reaches new heights with a description of the 500-mile Indianapolis Speedway Classic by Doodles Weaver. In this, Doodles imitates 14 racing cars as they roar around the track. Unfortunately, Doodles could not join us here for this discussion. He's at the gas station having his oil drained. And so, music lovers, I have given you the background and program notes of the City Slickers' version of Dance of the Hours. And now, this is Spike Jones inviting you to listen to our RCA Victor recording. <laughs> 